Now, 27 storm trap weather with meteorologist Max Sapir. Hello, welcome back. Here's a look at Doppler radar showing that rain moving back in after a little bit of a drier stretch last night and this morning, but we did have that fog that we were waking up to and we're still seeing dreary skies and rain now to go along with it for our southernmost row of counties falling light to moderately right along the immediate state line is where we have that heaviest rain and all this is shifting to the northeast. Maybe a couple sprinkles in Madison, but most of this is across county lines uh, farther to the south. So you can see all this rain developing and notice it's going to continue to move northeasterly. So uh, the highest chance for the shower activity today is likely going to be Sauk, Richland, Columbia counties up towards uh, Dodge and Green Lake and areas south. So the farther northwest you're located, so if you're northwest of the 3990 split along I-90, I don't think you see much rain today, but definitely southward we're going to be favored for that. With scattered rain moving in right now, and we'll continue to see that rainfall through the afternoon hours, tapering off around the evening commute or soon thereafter, and then we stay dry here heading into the holiday. Temps right now, 30s and low 40s across southern Wisconsin. The warm spot, Janesville at 45. We're at 38 in the capital city, 39 through uh, Iowa County, 34 in Montello. And the rest of today, not going to get much warmer because of how thick these clouds are, not letting any sunshine in, and therefore not warming up all that much. Low 40s this afternoon, all I have for high temps. And we have scattered rain developing right now to the south for lunchtime, but it'll overspread most of the region uh, by mid-afternoon, and then we just see the clouds stick with us as the rain exits uh, after dinner time. Here's the Thanksgiving planner. Maybe you're getting the big meal all ready today. It'll be milder tomorrow with decreasing clouds through the day and a high of 47. Pretty comfortable if you want to get out or keep the windows open like the CDC recommends if you do have those visitors. Black Friday it looks pleasant, mostly sunny, mid 40s, approaching 50 on Saturday. That's my pick day of the long weekend because of how nice it looks, mid 40s on Sunday. Your recap, 42 degrees today with scattered rain developing. That'll taper off this evening down to 35 tonight under mostly cloudy skies. And through the day tomorrow we get brighter, so we start off cloudy and I think we're sunny by the the afternoon hours with a high around 47 with light winds from the southwest. Seven day forecast showing the nice extended weekend with 40s abundant. However, next week we get colder. Big cold front rolls through Sunday night. I think a storm system stays south of us though, so just a few added clouds Sunday and Monday. Certainly noticeably colder this time next week with high temps barely getting to the freezing mark. So Nick, we are watching the warmth head our way mm -hmm. for the holiday and we get rid of this dreary yeah. sky type of trend that we've experienced the last couple of days. And we're nice, bright and mild through the weekend, but then changes next week heading towards the first couple of days of December. Yep. Back to reality, especially as we head into December, but hopefully many folks can get outside and throw the football around. A little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. We've had nice, we've had nicer, but also poorer conditions on Thanksgiving. All right, Max, thank you.